uh, my particular crime, which I went to jail for, involved loss of life. So, uh, you know, as a leaf in the wind, you didn't expect to land there. And, but when you do, you know, you know you was riding a car that would take you there. It, if it wasn't directly related to me, it's something that I really, really did care about. I didn't care. And I started to do a lot of things out of my out of my character that I normally wouldn't do. And um, I, I wound up in trouble with the law so much that all the cops knew me in town. They didn't care. That was the start of Williamsport trying to ruin my life, in my opinion. And Williamsport was very prejudiced when I first got here. The police were, the city was, the people were. I had never been called in before until I got here. I felt like a member of the community that sold drugs to the people that hated us, and I liked it. I liked selling drugs to white people. I liked seeing them look, I liked seeing their kids look bummy. I liked it. it. It made me feel better about myself because they always was the same ones that was just talking bad about me and mine. They were the same ones that was just trying to say, I'm this and I'm that, things that didn't even fit me. They don't look at them. People in the criminal justice system, they've broken some trust with their loved ones even. Um, and I've heard them say how hard it is to gain that trust back. So sometimes maybe they feel even defeated. Well, why should I even try to change? They're not gonna trust me anyway. And that could be similar with the community members. Why should I why should I try to gain their trust? For example, if I want to get hired at this job and they're concerned because of my background, why should I even try if they're not gonna trust me? All my crimes were, were drug related offenses. Like even if they weren't, even if it didn't say that on paper, like every single thing I ever did was because I was just out there getting high. I was a fool and I I would argue that anybody that thinks that they can stay clean on their own and get clean on their own and do it on their own is a fool. In 2010, 2011, they saw trends of prison population increasing, right? Prison population increasing to the degree of we were spilling out of our prison and housing inmates in, in uh, neighboring counties. Our county is paying another county to house our inmates and we get nothing in return other than the simple fact that they house them there. Where the thought process has been with reentry services, you know, there's a long-term investment on the money being spent for folks to go through reentry services. They're members of our community, they live here. Um, the goal is to help them get better, right? Help them get better and be, be, be more productive. Prison does have its own challenges. Uh, I was able to avoid most of those while I was in prison. So uh, I was able to obtain a number of certificates and uh, you know, really push the boundaries on uh, just bettering myself while I was in there. So spending my time, I was definitely accountable to, to you know, how I'm spending my time because this is still my life. You know, I'm not in a time capsule and I'm gonna come out and be circa 2009, you know, I have to be, you know, as improved as I can be. And um, especially if I wanna get where I'm going and my journey towards redemption, I have to have some traction.